गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन साईराम वेलकम बॅक टू अवर टुडेज क्लास सो वॉट आर वी गोइंग टू लर्न टुडे येस आय शो यू समथिंग नाव कॅन यू गेस वॉट आर वी गोइंग टू लर्न टुडे येस so look at this picture and just tell me what strikes in your mind can you guess the topic what we are going to learn today so what are they doing yes they are talking something right yes very good so today we are going to learn dialogue writing okay children Let's proceed. Yes, let me give the introduction first. So the word dialogue is derived from the Greek words dia and logos. So the word dialogue is derived from the Greek words dia and logos. so dia means through and logo means words so dialogue means it's nothing but words we use to communicate each other so this dialogue is very important and what are they doing now is of course they are talking to each other so what is a dialogue dialogue is the exchange of spoken words between two or more characters in a book or in a play or other written work so when you go to watch the movie so how do you understand the movie by listening to the dialogues so it's nothing but a spoken words between two or more people so when you read something or your story book or your comic books so you can find the dialogues between them and you understand what the story is or in a play if you go to watch the play play means drama so you can understand by hearing the dialogues and you can enjoy that play or other written work form so we have several books to read and understand so with the help of dialogues we understand properly and clearly <clears throat> so why is dialogue writing so why should we learn dialogue writing yes dialogue writing is a part of every curriculum and the main object of dialogue writing is to empower the students to build on given inputs in a grammatically correct and meaningful manner so it's very important to learn as a subject so every students must learn this so we learn the grammatically correct and meaningful manner we learn the manners also how should we talk with others so we can develop our language our experience our knowledge etc now there are two frequently asked dialogues in questions so the two frequently asked dialogues in the questions so do you know what are they sorry yes they are the first one is dialogue creation means you have to create the dialogue by reading the question between the two characters or more so you should read the question the one the first type is dialogue creating you can create on your own words like how you are talking to your friend and the next one is dialogue completion 
The next one is dialogue completion. It means half of the dialogues will be given and some blanks will be given. So you have to put your own words according to the question and the dialogue. You have to complete the blanks. So these are the two types of dialogues. So one is dialogue creation and the other one is dialogue completion. So anything come will come for the exam. So you should be thorough with these two types of dialogue writing. Now we have to burn our brain to learn this dialogue writing. So make wake up your brain. Now the first point is to remember. So I'll give some points to remember when you write the dialogue. That is the first point is dialogue should have a proper beginning. It should have a proper beginning like yes the di a dialogue should begin with a proper salutation according to the context of the conversation. Either it will be formal or informal. So if the dialogue is between your friends, so what will be the salu salutation? You can say hi, hello friend, like that. Or if it is, if you are talking to some elders or your teacher or some any person, you can say good morning sir. So salut salutation, so begin with a salutation, with a proper salutation. The next point is, yes, as I said, proper salutation, one is formal. That is, hello sir, how are you? If it is your friend, you can say, hi buddy, what's up? So you can speak in a friendly way or in the formal you can say good morning sir how are you otherwise just you can say hello sir how are you so these are the two types of introducing the beginning of dialogue writing one is formal and the other is informal Now, let's move on to the next point. Yes. Point number two. Dialogue should be written in simple English. So, no need of worrying to use the hard words, something new words. So, you can use your simple English. Like, Instead of using difficult language, dialogues should focus on simple and lifelike languages. So what you are talking in everyday life, those languages you can use it. Those words you can use it. Like, so I was aghast. So this aghast is something different. So no need of using this difficult language, the words like this. So instead, you can say, I was terrified. You can say, I was terrified. So terrified is a simple language. So dialogue should be written in a very simple language that we speak in our everyday life. The next one. So, are your brain is awake? Yes. Number three. Try to include some humorous sentences in the dialogue. Yes, it should be interesting also. So, if, when you read the storybook, if there are no funny sentences which makes you laugh, then the story will be boring, right? So, when you are writing the dialogue, there should be some humorous sentences in the dialogue. So, that you can create a dialogue writing in 
an interesting manner. You can write it when the opposite person is reading. It will be very interesting. So, adding some comic sentences in your dialogue will increase the naturality of the conversation. Especially if the context of dialogue is friendly one. So, if the dialogue is like talking to your friend, the humorous sentences is must. Because it will show the friendly way and it will increase the naturality of the conversation. Right? So, shall we move to the next point? So, be alert children. So, this picture is for you only to keep your brain alert. So, this dialogue writing is there for the exam. Now, number four. Point number four. That is contractions. Now, what is contractions? So, instead of using the expanded version of verbs, Dialogue should use contractions of verbs. I'll show you the example. Yes. Now, this is the expanded form. I, A, M, am. I, am is the expanded form. Was, not is the expanded form. Could, not. That is also expanded form. Now, what is the short form? What is the contraction of these words? So, I am can be written as I, yes, apostrophe, am. And was not, short form is W-A-S-A, -A, apostrophe, T. Could not, C-O-U-L-D, A, apostrophe, T. So, these are the contractions you have to use. I am wasn't couldn't so what is this i'm wasn't couldn't now let's move on to the next one yes punctuation so already we have learned what is punctuation yes some Marks like full stop, comma, exclamatory, question mark. All these are called as punctuation. So in your dialogue, a good dialogue must be well punctuated. So when you punctuate your dialogues, it conveys more ideas than the ordinary words. So when you mark the punctuation and when you write something inside that punctuation marks, it adds more weightage to the dialogue. So, a good dialogue must be well punctuated. Sometimes, punctuation conveys ideas more than words do. So, like the comma, question mark, exclamatory mark and the full stop. And the next one is proper ending. So your dialogue, when you finish your dialogue, the conclusion, it should, it must be in a proper way. It must finish the say, dialogue writing. It, show, it should not show like you're going to continue the dialogue. So when you meet your friend, when you depart from your friend, so what do you will say? Bye. Yes, so this is the proper ending. So the sh dialogue should not end abruptly. There should be a proper sign off. Like, for example, Shreya is saying, All right, I'll see you tomorrow then. Bye. The other example is Raj is saying, Okay, bye. See you tomorrow. So that means the dialogue is completed. So it, it has, the dialogue should have proper ending. Now the tips to remember. 
now those points that you have to follow while writing and now i'll give some more tips so ready yes the first tip so your dialogues cut small talk when writing dialogues and keep your dialogue brief and impactful remember who they are speaking to avoid long dialogue paragraphs and it should reveal relevant information about the character now let's see an example of dialogue writing yes the question is bunty and bubbly are classmates they are meeting each other after a long period write a dialogue between them so bunty and bubbly are friends they are classmate friends school friends and they are meeting each other after a long time so if they meet what they will speak so that you have to write in a dialogue form so ready children yes now important thing you have to note is bunty and bubbly are friends so the conversation should be casual so how will you talk to your friend will you talk very respectfully no very casually you will talk now let's see how to write the dialogue writing yes what are the two friends name it's already given in the question so the two friends are bunty and bubbly now imagine that you are bunty and you are meeting your friend bubbly so how will you start your dialogue so what will you talk yes hello bubbly how are you you'll start like this right and what bubbly will reply he will also say hi hello i'm fine now let's see how to write so here the bunty says hello bubbly how are you so here the exclamatory mark so it shows the expression so when you are reading you will with expression it can be read so how will you read this hello bubbly how are you you will read like this no you will say with expression hello bubbly how are you so the question mark also should be there so that is that conveys the message it is like a question how are you now what bubbly will say i'm good what about you bunty right so it's very interesting now let's see how what they are talking now bunty is asking where have you been it's been a long time so here the short form contraction it is there so it is is written in a contraction it's in a short form it's so how will you read this where are you be, where have you been it's been a long time now what bubbly will say after the board exams i went on a vacation to my native place so bubbly said he went to a to his native place and now what bunty will reply let's see bunty is saying wow that sounds interesting and what bubbly will say yes it was really awesome 
I even learn to swim like a frog under water. So this is the yes, very nice, attractive dialogue. I even learn to swim like a frog under water. So it shows some humorous also here. So what did he learn? He learned some swimming. How to swim like a frog under water. So humorous also is there in the dialogue writing. And the next one is from an angle. Now even you look like a frog. So again the humorous sentence. So what Bunty is saying, he's looking at him and he's saying from some angle that you are looking like a frog. Now Bubbly is saying, ha ha ha, it's very funny. So here ends the humorous sentence. Now how they are, yes, they are going to conclude the dialogue now. Bunty is saying, the bell has rung. We have to go. See you after the class. Bye. Yes, they are classmates, right? So they are talking in the school. And what Bubbly said? Okay, bye. So is there any continuation like any continuation dialogues are there after this? No, they have concluded. So, this is the way of writing the dialogues. It's very simple and interesting. And let's see. Yes, let's see another example. So, what's the question? Yes, it's the dialogue between a shopkeeper and a customer. Now, imagine that. You are a customer and you are going to some shop. So any shopkeeper you can imagine, right? So you are going to write the dialogue between the shopkeeper and the customer. So you can imagine as you are the customer and you went to buy something, anything. It may be a toy shop or it may be a cloth shop or it will maybe a sweet shop or book stationery shop any shops so it's up to your imagination now let's start customer so what is the rate of kaju barfi so where is the what's the shop name now which shop yes it's a sweet stall so he went to a sweet stall now the customer is asking, suppose you, if you are a customer, when you go to the sweet shop, what will you ask first? So whether which item you liked it, you will choose that first and you will ask the price for that. So what is the rate of gulab jamun? What's the rate for kaju katli? And what's the rate for uh, badusha or jalebi? Any items you can write here so what's the rate of kaju barfi and the question mark so question sentence should end with the question mark now the what the shopkeeper will say you can write any price rupees 600 per kg sir so shopkeeper will call us a sir or madam so he will say rupees 600 per kg, sir. And how it is continued? Yes, now the customer will ask. So how much you wanted? You can ask him 1 kg or half kg or 250 grams, anything. So pack half a kg for me. 1 kg, 2 kg or more than that also any you can write any measurement. So, customer saying, pack half a kg, sir, for me. Okay, next one, the shopkeeper says, in a minute, sir. Yes. So, what did the shopkeeper tell? He will pack it quickly. And, yes. 
now the customer is watching the shopkeeper so you will also watch right what is he doing how is he packing whether he's weighing properly right children yes so here you can add a sentence but you have weighed less than half a kg now the customer is asking to the shopkeeper now what he will reply he reply sorry sir i'll weigh them again and pack properly so he's saying sorry sir very politely he's saying i'll weigh them again and pack properly and the next one is customer now the packing is over oh thank you for your service shopkeeper well i'm here to do good to my customer sir so here ends the shopkeeper and the customer dialogues now customer is saying here's your money shopkeeper say thank you sir do visit again so this is the end of this dialogue right children so now assignment is given a sweet dialogue writing so read the question properly remember the points and complete it and then submit the click button and submit it until then stay home stay safe thank you bye bye